हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल द लेस इज मोर सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एन एडिटोरियल फ्रॉम द हिंदू एंड इट इज़ अबाउट द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द ह्यूमंस और द वी एज ए रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडियन एंड सिटीजन ऑफ इंडियन दैट इज टैक्स एवरी वन इज केयर ऑफ टैक्स 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 राइट Oh, tax has been increased. Tax, has, tax is being increased. Oh, the middle class, especially like us, right? So today we will discuss tax and in the in that the indirect tax. Okay, there is dif- there are two types of tax: direct tax and indirect tax. Okay. Direct tax is what we directly pay to the government. That is income tax. Okay. And any other tax that is directly paid to government by the individual. It's called incidence of tax. so let's start the editorial the title is an incomplete reform okay despite gains the indirect tax regime is yet to become truly simple or efficient india stressed with the goods and service tax launched at a special midnight parliament session with unusual fanfare completed 6 years this month marking the occasion finance minister nirmala sitharaman emphasized that the gst has moved the country towards the unified market from a situation where each state mandated different indirect tax structures and procedures while interstate borders were marked by bottleneck check posts that added to logistic cost and substantial from indian goods competitiveness introduced soon after the demonetization shock the gst was viewed as another disruptor for the informal economy and its initial technical structural and procedural challenges took a while to sort out that all business with annual turnover of 5 crore will have to generate e invoice starting this august and that there has been no ostensible pushback from smaller business over this indicates that firms have gradually embraced the change the revenue department cracked down on fake invoicing and other technique deployed by tax evaders may compel the few outliers to fall in line to tightening compliance and the post pandemic rebound in economic activity have helped improve revenues from the gst which ms sitaraman has suggested were underwhelming as of late 21 when the council set up a ministerial group to rationalize the unwieldy multiple rate structure and enhance tax inflows this june gst revenues crossed 1.6 lakh crore only the fourth such occasion in its 72 months existence lifting the average collection in the first quarter of this year to nearly 1.7 lakh crore a healthy 12% over last year's critic the recent revenue bnc even if it may face a blip if consumption growth falters amid a slowing global economy boards well for states that were worried about their fiscal capacity after five years of assured revenue through gst compensation expired last july for tax payers and consumers however much remains to be done till the gst can be considered a good simple tax gst compensation says levies have been extended till at least march 2026 instead of the initial 5 year tenure due to the transitory shock of covid-19 lockdowns on revenues dispute resolution remains a pain point for industry with gst appellate tribunal still not set up 
there is no road map in insight on the rate rationalization exercise or the inclusion of excluded items such as electricity petroleum and real estate without which the efficiency gains from the gst remains constricted the gst council needs to meet more often and turn its to do list into a must do list expeditiously so we have seen there how there is a how there are some reforms that need to be done even in the gst after its 72 months completion of 72 months okay still there exist different rate structures okay that is 18% 28% and 55% that is 10% and the another reform that uh, will be took place in from this august that is business with annual turnover of 5 crore will have to generate e invoices starting this august and that there has been no ostensible pushback from smaller businesses over this which indicates that firms have gradually embraced the change the revenue department cracked down on fake invoicing and other techniques deployed by tax evaders may compel the few outliers to fall in line too tightening compliance and the post pandemic rebound in economic activity help improve revenues from the gst so right now what another thing let me check for tax payers and consumers this gst compensation says levies have been extended till at least march 2026 instead of the initial 5 year tenure due to the transitory shock of covid-19 lockdown on revenues dispute resolution remains a pain point for industry with gst appellate tribunals still not set up so dispute resolution remains a pain point for dispute resolution it's with gst appellate tribunals not set up no road map no road map inside on this rationalization exercise or the inclusion of excluded items such as electricity petroleum real estate without which the efficiency gains from the gst remains constricted <coughs> so and gst council also needs to meet more often and turn its to do list into a must do list do list to must do list okay so this was for today guys i hope you would be understanding and please summarize this uh, editorial in your words in the comment section so that you can help you can get the some keywords only that you can reproduce in if you are writing a mains exam or whatever the writing okay so it will benefit you from it okay so bye bye till then bye bye signing off for the day